Blood Sucking Freaks from 1976. I don't know if this movie's misogynistic or not, but I do love it. Theme song. Kyle's Reviews! Kyle's Reviews! Alright, I'm continuing my October Spectacular Spook Fest. So I'm releasing two videos a week, every week in October, so make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell. So, if you want to watch Bloodsucking Freaks, check the link in the description below. So, this movie is one of my favorite films. Oddly, though, one of the reasons why is the commentary track. So, before we get to that, what's it about? Well, Sardu, he's running this theater in New York where they do this Grand Grignol torture shows. And the Grand Grignol, if I say that wrong, was kind of a movement where they did sort of special effect stuff live on stage. And gory stuff, you know, the, the, to, to, just to shock people. Well, maybe not. I don't want to simplify it. But anyway, the people going there think it's all part of, it's all fun and games, it's all fake, it's all special effects. Sadhu. Master of the theater of the macabre. Tonight, we begin with torture. Again, I warn you that if you find what you see is a little upsetting to your stomachs, then just pretend we're play acting. For if you are skeptical or bored, then just pretend that what you see is real. But in reality, they actually are torturing and killing people live on stage. Sardu, though, a critic comes, and he's like, oh, this is terrible. I'm not even going to bother reviewing it. Trash. I've seen better years ago in the Grand Guignol in Paris. Ah, Mr. Creasy Silo, the eminent critic. And Sardu's going to like, I will get my revenge. So, he wants to get critical acclaim. Now, the appeal of the movie is all the outrageous ways women get tortured. Hands get cut off. <laughs> oh, now we're getting the proper reaction. There's decapitations. There's even a famous scene where a guy sucks, I guess, brain fluid out of a living person's head with a straw. And amazing furniture. Don't you dare ruin my dinner. Now, it sounds gory, and it is, but it's also super cheesy. Like the hand getting cut off is super red paint, so it's and the he severed head is clearly fake. This alone would make the movie fun, but the commentary is what makes it remarkable. So the commentary is by Eli Roth, and he did it before he actually started making movies. He worked in his early days. He worked for Troma, and they paid him to do the commentary. He says that apparently. Troma and the director of the movie were having like a money dispute, so the director didn't want to participate. So Eli Roth went out. This is before, you know, Wikipedia or things like that. He went out and interviewed and found as many of the people involved in making the movie as he could. So there's lots of interesting actual facts about the, the making of the film and the actors. And then what makes it amazing is... Roth combines it with total bullshit. So he just makes up stuff. So there is a character called Ralphus. He makes Roth, this commentary track makes Ralphus out to be the best actor ever. Talks about the power of breaking the fourth wall, what is clearly the, the actor just looked at the camera. And he makes the movie out to be the costuming to be so uh, painstaking and, and and symbolic. And he claims it was hugely influential, not just on other movies, but on society as a whole. 
I, it's amazing. I, I've never seen another commentary like it. It's almost like, sort of like a mystery science theater, but it's not, but it's deadpan. And so, it, 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 in some ways, it's almost a satire, but I think also <laughs> you could sort of see that he was just killing time. He's like, I didn't have anything to do with this movie, and uh, here I, I, I found some few facts about these people, but that's all I got. Now, I did say that most of the, the film is about torturing women. There's one guy, there's a couple men that get tortured, but most of it is women, lots of nudity. And so I've seen people say the film is misogynistic, and I can understand that argument, but I, I don't know that I agree with it, because this violence is against women, but it's not sexualized violence. It's not, uh, there's no rape, there's no verbal degre you know, degre degradation, easy for me to say, there's no verbal abuse based on being a woman. Um, Sardu, the guy in charge, he's also shown into being into S and M himself. There's a really fascinating scene where he has like this uh, belt clip that he switches from one side to the other, so he's going from uh, Dom to Sub, I guess. You've been a very bad boy today. Have I really been that bad? Must I be punished? So. I, yeah, there's. I I can understand why people would think it's misogynistic. I don't think it is. Um, if you can get past that, Blood Sucking Freaks is a must watch. I'm giving it six thumbs up. So good, watch it twice. Once for the commentary, and once for Ralphus. Too bad you can only give me one thumbs up. <laughs>